Since I haven't done a How I Would Adapt in a very long time, I will be doing not one, but two How I Would Adapts this week. This one is on Kamen Rider Zero One, while the other one will be on Ryu Soldier. So for now, enjoy How I Would Adapt Kamen Rider Zero One. The story starts off about 15 years ago with a 7 year old kid that seems to be a bit of a computer prodigy until one day where he's taken by government agents and taken to a secret underground government prison where he's kept there for about a year but every day a grasshopper keeps wandering into his prison cell and he decides to keep it as a pet. And that's when he gets the idea that he can use this grasshopper to escape by converting this grasshopper's DNA into computer data and turning it into a weapon that he can use to escape. He uses this weapon to escape, but little did he know that a brother and sister duo of security guards were in charge of watching him, and as he was escaping, they failed to catch him and were thus fired. And if you're wondering why I'm having this take place 15 years ago instead of 10 years ago, that's because when we fast forward to the future, I want our main character to be kind of like a college student so we can have a protagonist that a slightly older audience can relate to. That and I don't want freaking high school again. Anyway, our main character is now a college student. But little did he know that one of his professors was the brother-sister duo that were fired all those years ago. The brother hates our main character for this because he lost the most important job he ever had. While the sister actually understands the kid's point of view as, let's face it, if you were a seven-year-old prodigy and you were kidnapped by the government, you'd escape too. While that's going on, the secret government prison has discovered the child prodigy's blueprints from all those years ago. The weapon he developed were beast hackers, which are kind of like flash drive computer data keys that were converted with animal DNA. The government then uses these blueprints to enhance their soldiers. However, the way they built them turns these soldiers into monsters as they didn't develop them right. One day, the brother-sister duo get a phone call from one of the head government officials and offer them their jobs back in order to get revenge on the child prodigy from all those years ago. They offer them the beast hacker keys fused with wolf and cheetah DNA, along with two blaster drivers. Naturally, they both refuse, so instead, the government official sends out a soldier that was infected by the beast hacking keys to hunt down the childhood prodigy from all those years ago. The infected soldier then terrorizes the college campus, hunting down our main character. Luckily, our main character was prepared, as he's been working on a secret project for the past 15 years. This secret project is the hacker driver and the grasshopper beast hack key, as he converted grasshopper DNA from all those years ago into a flash drive in order to make the beast hack keys. He uses the grasshopper beast hack key in the hacker driver in order to transform into Power Rider Codebreaker. And that's how I would adapt Common Rider Zero One. What do you think of it? Would you adapt it differently? Feel free to let me know in the comments below, and what do you think of me making the main character a college student? Because uh, I want a main character that can slightly relate more to an older audience instead of freaking high school again. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments, and that's going to do it for now. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, as always, until next time, see ya.